there we are, everyone. Um, welcome, and it's such a nice, so nice to see you. And 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 as mentioned, you know, yesterday was such a beautiful learning day, and we're going to continue on on a different on a different um, on a different trajectory. Where we're we're on Nevi'im, we're uh, on chapter thirteen of the book of Judges, and uh, we last week was uh, was was not as narrative, but now we're going to turn to the to to the last number of of uh, chapters are dedicated to one of the most famous Shoftim, um, as you will see later on towards the chapter. I just want to let you know as well, and Cindy, do not do not jump on this, because I know you will jump on this, um, but this is actually, uh, or, or starting from verse <laughs> two, is a Haftarah. So we will, I'm going to, I'm gonna, I will not tell you on which, from which Parsha it is, but uh, that is going to be your homework for next week to tell me which Parsha uh, it is, it's coming from. So uh, without further ado, um, without further ado, let me start chapter 13. So this is a beautiful, there's going to be a couple of beautiful stories. So in in the in the tradition of the trajectory of this book, which was again, the cycle of, of, of I'm going to ask if, if somebody is uh, just, just to mute, if you have some noise in the background, just to mute, please, because we have, otherwise it comes out and I don't want to, Oh, so all right, here we go. Chapter thirteen. We'll begin that cycle, that cycle of of um, of disobedience, uh, being punished, um, and then and then God sending, so to speak, somebody who who is going to turn the tide. So chapter thirteen begins. Vayosifu bnei Israel lasot hara bnei Adonai. The Israelites again, again continued in their offsetting ways. And they continued to do bad in the eyes of the Lord. So the Lord gave them in the hands of the Philistines for 40 years. Magic number. Remember that, remember that number? 40 years. Okay. So the first couple of, of uh, Shoftim reigned for 40 years. Um, or, and, and here we have that number as well. We have a little pay at the end. Representing that's 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 setting the background for for this entire story. So they're right now being persecuted. There was there was a gentleman from the town of Tzora, and he was from the family of Dan. So guess what? Guess what? Shevet. Guess what uh, tribe he was from? Anybody wants to guess? Steve, I just Dan. From oh. Dan. He was from Shevardhan, <laughs> exactly. Ushmo Manoach, his name is Manoach. Veishto Akara, his wife has, is barren, Velo Yalada, and she has not given birth. Um, so I want to share with you quickly. Parashat Naso. Oh, you're not supposed to tell us. That was, ne that was, that was, that was for next week. But that's okay. That gets, <laughs> the cat is out of the bag. Um, yes, that is correct. And I'll explain to you also why it's Parshat Naso. Did everybody see the map? Uh -huh. Yes. So the, where that little arrow is in the green, do you see it? Uh -huh. That is roughly where the city is. And I'll show you on the left-hand side, you'll, you'll be able to see even more. So let me spotlight this. Here we go. So we are right here. Okay. Jerusalem is right to the east. It's almost in line, directly westward of Jerusalem. So you're crossing technically the rest of Benjamin's territory. You're crossing into Judah and right into that green, the dark green is the territory for Dun. And if you look on the left-hand side, okay, that little circle, does everybody see it? I, I, I put it in, in red. That's where Tzorai is. It's literally just... It's, it's as the crow flies westwards from Jerusalem. And yeah. does everybody see it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's where Torah is. All right. How do you spell Torah? Some, I, I, I again, it's, 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 it's a Hebrew word. If you can spell T-S, okay. apostrophe is <laughs> Right now, right now, it's actually kibbutz right in central Israel, located about 20 kilometers with Jerusalem, as you can tell, and Beit Shemesh is right below it. That's the bigger city, so it's the northern part of Beit Shemesh. And in in 2019, it had less than a thousand people in it, so about 930 people. 
If you want to look at it, this is kind of what it looks like. There's it's, it's hillish a little bit. It's a beautiful, beautiful, um, very um, um, a lush in terms of it's a growing area. So it's 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 definitely one of the uh, it, it, it receives rain. It's not it's not the drier areas of Israel, which is in the south. Okay, so does everybody kind of on the left hand side is Ashdod, which is a port city. Okay, right now big mm -hmm. port city of Israel. Right up here, right about north is where Tel Aviv is. Okay, so my, my, it's it's around I would say about forty, no, about uh, 60, 60 or so kilometers from it's maybe even not even from from uh, how do you call it from from Tel Aviv. Okay, so does everybody kind of have an idea of where it is? Yeah. <clears throat> Beautiful. So now let's continue. Let's continue with the text. So we are right now in Surah. There's a gentleman there who lives in Surah. His name is Manoach. Okay. And he has a barren wife. In other words, he's childless. All right. Oh, okay. Your... Pardon? Anybody with a question? Well, no. It, it was just I was stuck on the map. So. Okay. Does everybody, does everybody see? Everybody has the text back? Yes. yes. Good. Vayera Malach Adonai El Haisha. Lo and behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to his wife, to the woman, Vayomer Aleha, and he engages her in, 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 in talk and he tells her, Hinenaat Akara, Veloyaladit, you are barren and you have not yet born a child, you've not yet give, given birth. Veharit, however, you shall conceive Veyaladit Ben, and you will give birth to a son. <laughs> he's giving her he's giving her nebua okay he's, he's telling her what will happen in the future um veata however he's warning her now he shamrina be very careful the do not drink wine or any intoxicants the altochlikotame nor eat anything that is unclean why for you, and here the language is very, very, very tricky. Um, there are those commentaries say that she, he's telling her that she's right now, she just got pregnant. There are those that tell, there are those that hold no, he's telling her that she will get pregnant. Okay. And those that hold the commentaries that feel that, that, that she is currently pregnant, but she doesn't know about it is because it's always in double entendre. If you look at it from the beginning, it says, <laughs> you're, you're barren and you haven't yet given birth. If you're barren, obviously you haven't given birth, which means she's she's pregnant, but she hasn't yet given, she doesn't know that, but she's going to be giving birth. <laughs> you will, no kidding. If you're, if you're pregnant, obviously you're going to give birth. And again, it's, and you'll see it again, the same double entendre of of your 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 barren you haven't given birth yet so summer summer and 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 the fact that he's warning her right now don't eat anything means what that there's somebody that there's that that it's already life has started within her and that her food intake will also be affecting the child so that is why she's not allowed to eat any of those intoxicants nor anything that is impure why and let's hear again so you can you can see either you will conceive or you are right now pregnant. ben, and you are going to give birth and bear a son. Umora loya ale al rosho, nothing sharp, a razor or or or, or a knife shall not touch his head. Ki nazir Elohim hanar min habaten, for he is going to be a Nazarite to God. From the womb, so even before, even before he is born, he is to be a nazir. The who and he, Yachel lehoshia et Yisrael miat plishtim, he shall be the one who will um, uh, spawn on uh, the deliverance of Israel from the hands of the Philistines. So this is a very interesting thing because a nazir, if anybody knows the, the rules of nazir. Nazir is uh, some some is a pledge that you make to God. It's actually a promise uh, that one makes to be a Nazir, and, and one one can choose the period of of Nazirut of of being a Nazirite. And as Philip said, 
Um, this is a, the Haftarah for Parshat Naso, which deals with the rules of Nazir. So that is the connection. Usually whenever we have a Haftarah, it's connected to the por Torah portion. Um, it usually shares a theme. It usually shares some kind of, of, of a commonality with the parasha. In this case, the idea of Nazir, and perhaps Shimshon is one of, if not the most famous Nazir of all. And he's supposed to be a Nazir from the day he was conceived, not when he's born, the day that he is conceived, which is unbelievable because guess what? Samson is not the one who's making what? The promise. He has no choice. He is born as a Nazir. Mm -hmm. It's a very rarity. Nazir was actually um, um, both a positive thing and a negative thing. And if you look at the laws of Nazirut, you, you recognize that, yes, there's, there's a period of time that he or she has to perform uh, the promises of a Nazir. So some of them is... is not cutting hair, not allowed to, to, to be intoxicated, not allowed to drink any wine, any, any, any intoxicants, et cetera, um, and not allowed to cut their hair. But, and, uh, and, or and, alcohol. Or alcohol. And at the end of the term, once he or she finishes, they actually bring an off, a sin offering almost in terms of because they their promise held back um, things that are enjoyable in life, things that are permissible, uh, but of course, in 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 reasonable measures, the fact that that their nazirut removed them that is also not a good thing. So maybe they needed a little bit of a, a readjustment, and therefore they made this type of promise. But at the end of the day, this is not what we are supposed to be doing. We're not we're not uh, here to remove ourselves from from pleasures of life. And this is what this is what a nazir really also does. But he is. Um, dedicated to God. So this is a really special child. So this lady is all excited. And so this lady, this woman, went and told her husband. She says, A man of God came to me. However, he, 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 he seemed to me, he looked, um, or, or, or he gave the impression um, that he was an angel of God, and it was an awe-inspiring. It, it was it, it was scary. It was it was awe-inspiring for me. But I, I I I didn't even have the opportunity to ask him. Who 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 is he? He didn't even tell me what his name was. Okay, so the way that that commentaries explain this is, it's very difficult to to to. To, to imagine somebody comes over to you and gives you a, a particular nevoah, um, a particular prophecy, um, would you right away assume it's it's an angel of God or or in those days there were prophets? She is very, she's jumping between what she believed she saw. She either saw or she was she was introduced to a prophet, or a malach Elohim or an angel, and she she kind of senses that. It's it's Ish Elohim. It was it was that is the way that that our prophets are 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 um, um, referred to by in text. But Umar Ehu, he looked like Malach Elohim, like an angel of God. So she's she's sensitive enough to figure that something here is is powerful. Vayomerli, and this encounter, this angel or this this prophet, this this person, this this told me. And again, you can translate it in two ways. For a whole, you are, you are right now pregnant or you will be pregnant and you will give birth to a son. But he warned me, do not drink any wine or any intoxicants. Do not eat anything that is unclean. Why? Why? Min habeten adyomoto, for he will be, he will be a nazir from the womb until the day of death. Now, interestingly enough, it doesn't say anything, by the way, about until the day of death when 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 the angel is speaking. If you read back the text, and this is right now the first act, as you can see, there's a pay there. That's the setting up. So the 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 global situation is that the Israelites are being 
um, uh, are, are, are being tensioned under the Philistines. And here there's one guy, one family, Manoach, uh, who's, who's, his wife is barren and an angel comes up over to her and tells her that she will uh, give birth to a Nazarite boy, uh, gives her a couple of, of, of requirements for her, for her to do. And now he will, this, once this child grows up, this, this child is going to be the beginning of uh, the savior or the, 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 he's going to turn the tide and help the Israelites um, free themselves from under the tyranny of the Philistines. So, next, And so, Manoah pleads or prays to God and asks, Be Adonai, please, O oh my Lord, please, the man, that, that, the, 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 the man of God, which you, which you sent, please send them back again to us. And let him instruct us what we should do to the child that is born. And commentators say, it's kind of funny. Is, 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 he, is he not trusting his wife? What is going on here, right? If, if, is, 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 does anybody want to wanna, wanna give an explanation of why does Manoach ask God, hey, bring him to me? Maybe he's insecure. I don't know. Do why do you think? Why do you think he prays that he wants to know? It was very clear that his wife gave the directions of what they should be done. If she's not supposed to eat anything that is unclean, nothing that is intoxicants, no wine, etc. Not not allowed to cut his hair. What's what's unclear? So why do you think? Why is Manoach asking this from God? Any suggestions? So one is simply he's. You know, if somebody's for for not having a child, and suddenly your 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 wife says, "Oh, guess what? Somebody came over to me and 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 says I'm going to give, and and these are the requirements, etc." It's a it's definitely a little bit uh, unnerving, you know. Like and 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 he wants validation, so it's not necessarily that he doesn't believe, but who knows? Maybe he's saying for so long we've we've been we've been praying for for a child, and now God is 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 it true? He wants validation. He wants almost to put God on the spot and make him fulfill that prophecy. So it's not, it's not just an imagination. Some say that Manoach actually was not necessarily um, that devoted to, to or, or, or didn't have such deep belief. And he actually needed, he needed proof. He was not, he, he, and that is why the angel appeared to whom? The wife. The wife. To the wife. To the wife. Also, in in this second uh phrase yeah. he says let him instruct us how to act with the child so like the the first part talks about what the woman should do before the child is born is there any significance about it being so maybe... I, I i i think i think you're you're it's a very good point it's definitely different but not mana say perhaps he's asking once okay we know once he's born Right. And in other words, she's not allowed to eat. Mm -hmm. uh, she's she's not allowed to do that stuff. But what after that? Excellent. So there's a little bit of a different um, demand here in the sense of once the child is born, how do we act with this kid? So we know mm -hmm. he's not allowed to 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 to, to cut hair, etc. But is, are there any other special requirements? Perhaps that's that that's definitely that's definitely reading you know the nuances and differences in the in in the, in the pasuk. Very nice, Cindy. I like that. Okay, does everybody see that? Like now, now it's no longer when when it's born. It's once it's a lad already. What what are there any specifics? After? Well, we we presume that they are a little bit older now because they've been waiting for a long time to have a baby, mm -hmm. and uh, they don't haven't done this, and they're they're now who knows what I don't know where they are in terms of their lifespan, but uh, you know they get a little unsure of themselves. Yeah, no, for I sure. I know how. And maybe they ran out of the Dr. Seuss, well, well, right? That, that, that <laughs> book of how to, right? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Maybe they're 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 insecure in terms of now that now that Manoach finds out that you know not only that she's gonna have a, a child, but this child is gonna be you know bequeathed of to, to to serve to serve God, so to speak. Uh, God, please give us uh, what are we supposed to? You know, like it, it's just like that. You're giving us all these instructions. Give us 
you know, uh, bring me in. Let me know. If, are there any other requirements, et cetera? So maybe Esther, you're absolutely right that 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 they want to know uh, it in great great greater detail. It's also very if you read it from the text above, right? Mm -hmm. she, you can tell the wife is is obviously in some kind of this disarray or or excited or 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 confused a little bit. She couldn't. Well, I I didn't even have the time to ask him, and he didn't tell me who he was, his name, etc. Yeah, that, that, something here is is unfinished business. So mm -hmm. perhaps, and because it's very hard for us, we have to. You know, this is kind of like a a text that we send somebody. You know, we, we don't know in what in what what what's what's is is it in loud voice? Is it a question? Is it you know we 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 add interpretations um, uh, to, to to words. And here into the text as well, we have to add the color, you know, in, of, of how she's saying, how is she expressing it? Is is she saying, as a matter of factly, is she is she questioning? What do you think, husband? Somebody came over to me. What what is your opinion? So, perhaps that is perhaps they they're they're having doubts. And so, and so Manoach Manoach asks God, please, if this is to be, please send that man back to us again. And guess what? Verse nine. And God heeds Manoach's plea. And so now it's referred to as Malach HaElohim. The angel of God once again appears to whom? No. The wife. To the wife. She was sitting in the field. She was sitting in the field. And Manoach, her husband, Ain Ima was not there with her. So, so once again, lo and behold, the angel comes down, but doesn't appear to both, only appears to the wife. And again, the woman ran in haste to tell her husband, she tells him, Look, 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 the man who came to me before has just appeared to me again. So she went to call her husband. Manoach promptly follows his wife, and he encounters this man. And Manoach asks him, Are you the one that spoke to my wife? And he said, I. Literally in, in old English, I. Yes, it was me. Vayomer Manoach, Manoach asks, Ata, now, Yavo Devarecha, Ma Yiye Mishpat, Hanaar, Umaseu. May your words, God, the, what you spoke, may it come true. And now please tell us what are the rules? How are we to be engaged with this boy? And again, he repeats. The, the angel of God tells Manoach, That which I have warned your wife, just be careful with that. I've warned her already. All those items, be very careful. What were they? And now he's giving a little bit more detail. She must, not no eat. she must not eat anything that comes from the grapevine or drink wine or other intoxicants. The whole tuma al tochal, nor may she eat anything that is unclean. She is to keep everything that I command her here. There is no ways about it. Vayomer Manoach el Malach Aronai. Manoah then returns to, to, the, to the angel of God. Let us, please stay with us. Let us, let us hold you, hold you with us. Remain with us. And let us prepare for you a beautiful meal of a kid from, from the sheep. So please stay, stay for supper. All right. That's what he said. Let us, let us hold you back. Please be our guest. But the angel of God said to Manoach, if you detain me, even if you, I will not eat from your food. And if you're going to want to give a, a burnt offering as, 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 as thanks, 
offer it to the Lord. He had no manoach, had no idea that this was an angel of God. So, so it's very clear that the Manoach believes that this is what? Who is this? Who, who are they encountering? God. No. What does Manoach think? Oh. It's a prophet. Project, yeah. It's it's a prophet. In other words, some, somebody who's God coming out and he's offering him right now as gratitude, etc., for coming. Please come. We want to. We want to make. We want to prepare a, a, a beautiful meal for you. Some say, by the way, that 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 perhaps Manuach wanted to 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 show, you know, that they prepare food properly, that they're not eating unclean food. By by unclean, we're not talking about that the meat was washed. Obviously, we're talking about um, ritual ritual cleanliness of of the meat that it's prepared according to 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 the rules to to halacha. So he wanted to to almost show him and just get his advice. But here, Malach Adonai says, uh-uh, give it to the Lord. So Manoach said to the angel of the Lord, what is your name? We should like to honor you when your words come true. In other words, we want to speak of, of who 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 gave this and who uh, prophesied this? And so the angel of God returns and says, Why are you asking for my name? The who fell and it is unknowable, or it's 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 a miraculous name, Pele. It's unknown. It's un um, um it's unexplicable. It's like seeing seeing a wondrous. Uh, 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 event, you know, you're looking at it and you're in awe. You're you don't know how it came about. Don't ask for my name. Don't worry about what my name is. So what does he do? Manoach nonetheless takes the kid and the meal offering. Vayal al Hatsur He offered them upon a rock to God. Umaflilasot, and a marvelous thing. An unexplainable thing, by the way. Do you see the Do you see the word, helevehu mm peli, -hmm. and mafli, and a wonderful and a wondrous, unexplicable event takes place, and umanoach veishto roim and manoach and his wife are witnessing it. What is this wonder wondrous thing? Vayi vaalot halahav meal hamizbeach hashemaim as the flames. From the offering that Manoach is bringing forth are are going towards heaven as as they're ascending, vayal malach arnai belav hamizbeach, and the angel of God is consumed and he ascends in the flames of this altar. Umanoach veishto roim, Manoach and his wife are are witnessing this, vayplu al penehem arza, and they fall on their faces. On their ground. So, in other words, they're prostrating. And velo yasaf od malach arunai leharaot el manuach veelishto. From that point on, the angel of God no longer um, comes to manuach and his wife. As it was at that point, yada manuach ki malach arunai hu. At that point, manuach realizes that they were just in the presence of the angel of God. And now they're recognizing that that in whose presence they were, Manoach starts quivering and he tells his wife, We are going to die. For ki Elohim Rainu, we have just witnessed we were in the presence of a divine being. So his wife retorts and says, Cool down, relax. His wife tells him. If God would have wanted to take our lives, He would not have accepted the burnt offering nor the meal offering from us. Why would He have twice sent His angel to give us all these this prophecy? Why would He? Why would He? Why would he want to make us an announcement? It doesn't make sense. He tells us what's going to happen, then he's going to kill us. How is that announcement going to come true? It just doesn't. Manoch, why? What's wrong with you? It just doesn't make sense. 
what happens? Lo and behold, the woman gives birth to a son. Vatikra et shemo shimshon, and she calls her son Samson. Vaygdal hanaar, and this child grows. By varchehu adonai, and God blesses him. Vatachel ruach adonai lefaamo v'machanidan. The spirit of the Lord first moves, starts steering. There's an energy which is created with the birth, and this and as this boy is growing in the Campment of Dan in the in the in the uh, the region of Dan, which is Bain Sora Uvein Eshtaol, in that area between Sora and Eshtaol. So I'm just going to show you again, by the way. So this is the, a lot of the story is going to take place in this area, Eshtaol. If you can see, it's very hard. Does everybody see the map? Yes. Yes. I'm going to try to see if I can actually make it a little bit bigger. There you go. Do you see where Eshtaol is to the right? Yeah. yeah. To this day, if you go to Israel, this is this is a recent map. This is where Eshtaol. So it's in this area, let's say, that there's this excitement, this 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 energy is building up. So that's that's again, this is just a little bit north of, of Jerusalem, but again, just westward of, of Jerusalem. If anybody has been to Modi'in, it's right here. Yeah. So just literally south, whoop, directly south of Modi'in. All right? Mm -hmm. And this is, that's the, the. Um, so it's going to be these two sister cities. It's, it's, it's a region that is going to be a hotbed of, of excitement and a hotbed of, of the tides turning um, against the Philistines. So we're talking about somewhere like in, in this area, right here on the map, on the right-hand side. Okay, central Israel, very, very pivotal because this is, by the way, you can, you can also see how many um, um, of the tribes and which ones are, are being affected. So you have Ephraim, Binyamin, Judah, which were the, literally the three big, big ones. Okay, mm -hmm. and Dan, of course, this is coming from Shevet Dan, from the tribe of Dan. Any questions, by the way? Keep on going. Pardon? I might like to continue. You know, this is so, to, so, keep, so, okay. so if I parrot. That's so if I parrot, yes. I have to keep you in suspense, you know. We can't we can't uh it, now compared to last compared to last week's um compared to last week, this is this is no a, more a, a, yeah, the last the last yeah, the last number of, of Prakim are 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 actually a lot of the stories of Samson, which you may have Growing up knowing, um, I'm not, I don't. I certainly do not want to want to uh, ruin it for you if you haven't yet uh, know know the story with with Samson. But they're but they're 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 amazing. They're really amazing, and there's a lot of uh, there were a lot of you know kid movies and 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 and, and, uh, and adult movies too that were that were made with uh, with stories that were with Shimshon. Um, an idea. It's interesting, by the way. Um, usually. Whenever there is a boy that or or a name is is bestowed upon someone, they actually tell you why, right? Because of this, they named him this, or because of this, she was named that. Shimshon. Any idea what 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 where that? Hmm? <clears throat> there's a couple. There's there's a there's a couple of of of. So look at the first three letters of the name. What does that spell in Hebrew? First, first three letters. Shemesh. 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 Yeah. What's Philip? What's Shemesh? Son. Son. Yeah. So, in other words, here comes some brighter. It, it, it's it's an illusion as to brighter days coming ahead. Shemesh. Shimshon. In other words, this this there's going to be brightness coming from from uh, the birth or from 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 here on in something. And there's no. Uh, yes. What what what's an yeah. There's no special gematria connected to the name. I, I perhaps I haven't I haven't I I didn't look that way. Um, but but mm -hmm. I'm sure there I'm sure you can find something. Um, also shimush. What's what's shimush? Well, Beit Shimush is a bathroom, but I know that's okay. not. But what, what you're right, Beit. But shimush, the word from that's the the expression is a Beit Shimush. What's shimush? 
לשמש תשמישין, when we use, when we use, when we use things, what, 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 what is, what is שימוש? שימוש. שימוש comes from usage, in other words, there's a purpose. לשמש is to use, but usually, so בית שימוש is room for, for usage, and it's kind of alluding to what you use it, but it's, it's a room with a purpose. It's not just, it's a particular purpose, but so, so he was, he was born with a mission. This is Shemesh. In other words, he was, he was born from beginning, from the beginning mm -hmm. of his conceivement, he already has a mission. He doesn't have to so find... The, right. Yes, he, yes my the root then is uh, Shemush and not Shemesh that we should be and focused on. You can, you can look at it from both. There's, there's no, there's no, um, you know, this is, I'm, I'm giving you multiple, um, multiple explanations. So, so Shemush, this, this boy doesn't have to, you know, find, you know, go off to, to, to the, you know, the Orient for a couple of years to find, to find his purpose or mission in life. He, before he was even born, he's already charged with a mission. So Shimshon, he is charged. He has a purpose. He's already, he's already um, uh, programmed, if you want to say, want to use that one word, he's already programmed for a specific task. Do you know if Rashi is has this, a comment? Oh, sorry. We're going to look. Yes. Now, so this this is the same Samson and Delilah? Don't ruin it. Oh. Uh, don't ruin it. I, I'm just, it's kind of, maybe it's obvious. I don't know. But I'm kidding. Yeah. We're, but, we're, but what I was going to say, I was going to ask why was, but you've already answered it. Why wasn't there something exceptional about this child? Yeah, I mean, if the size must have been different. Uh, can can you just repeat that again? His size yeah. must have been bigger than normal. No? Let's, we'll 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 get we'll get to it later on, um, okay. and it's an interesting st case study because I always say we all has we always have a preconceived notion. Um, when we looked at when we saw movies or we saw these TV shows or we looked at books um, when we were kids or books that we read for our kids or grandchildren or or whomever, whatever it is, without actually looking at the text. And I always use the story of perhaps the most known by kids uh, in the Bible, and that is Noah, right? Noah, who doesn't know about this huge big boat? This cruise liner filled with animals, right? It's so cool, and you know, like from the top, uh, you'll you'll see you'll see the heads of of giraffes sticking out, and and you know, and then they're sitting there, and the lion has has his paw around, you know, a duck or whatever it might be. It's really cute, and they're all they're all sitting there on the on, on the deck, and you actually it's it's or or you see a line of animals making their way up to the boat, you know, and 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 you look at very clearly the way it's it's depicted, and I I'm yet to see one depiction that is actually accurate to the text and i'll give you and i'll give you an example and i'll ask you how many animals how many lions were on board the ss noah who shnaim shnaim what shnaim uh are you it, uh, it's a call shnaim two lines okay okay so so in in to, there were, there were two okay let's let's use uh, how many elephants were on board? Gan came came snaim vashapti snaim bishvil akol. Two, you're saying two, mm -hmm. and out of those two, what, what how were they split between male and female? One of each. So that's absolutely wrong. So Boy. there were there were two two males, two females of non. It's it, whether you say kosher or not it's hard it's hard to explain of all the non pure animals there were two and two so you would have mm -hmm. seen two male lines two female lines and from all kosher animals or or that which was considered to be pure animals or non 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 impure there were seven and seven so you would have had seven bulls and seven cows so, so where does it say that uh, rabbi Yossi? Read it straight in the text for what 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 Noah is 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 instructed to 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 collect straight out. 
ומוכר הבהמה הטהורה, שבעה שבעה זכר הוא אשתו. ומכל הבהמה לא טהורה, שניים שתיים. So, so, so we live, so my point is, the uh, Farla is, is the, the misconceptions that we have when we, when we see movies that are, listen, to try to make a stamp, you know, with a cute little stamp with, you know, seven giraffes, because believe it or not, giraffe is a kosher animal. Giraffe actually belongs to the same uh, family as deer, okay? The only reason why it's deemed not edible is because the neck is too long. We don't know where to shecht it. But it's a kosher animal. A giraffe is a kosher animal. So there would have been seven females, seven males of giraffe, according to the text. It just doesn't look right, you know, like on a stamp, you know, to make seven. It wouldn't make room for other animals. It would be boring. So they add it so nice, you know, a husband and a wife. So we have one and one uh, or, a, or a mate, however you want to look at it. So it's one and one. But that was not, that's not the case. Um, and as well, by the way, the same thing when, when I'll give you another story the, um, you know, you, 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 you see, you see the story of, of Exodus, right? An Exodus. Uh, and you look at, you look at the way Moses is depicted for you. Do you know how old Moses was when he went before Pharaoh? So you can do the math. So do the math and, and then you'll figure it out yourself. How long did, were they in the desert? 40 years. 40 years. Here's the, the magic number, 40 years, right? Right. Mm -hmm. 40 years? 40. Okay. <laughs> How long did Moses live for? 20 years. Who said that? 120 years. That is correct. That is correct. 120. So if you have calculators beside you, if you need calculators, do 120 minus 40 is? 80. 80. He was 80 years old when he went before Pharaoh. Now you go to see, I don't know about you, but Charles Huston looks darn, you know, when he's 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 there, you know, on his might and this and that. And yeah, and then later on, suddenly they depict him as as as, as someone, you know, uh, older, but in all, all the movies as well, you know, or all the all the beautiful, you know, Prince of Egypt or whatever it might be, all these all these cutesy movies are very nice, but they're not accurate to what necessarily are detailed very clearly. And I'm not talking about assumed or, 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 or uh, extrapolated from the text. Very clear details that are given mm -hmm. in the text are not always um, uh, you know, translated in movies or translated in, 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 in stories or in books. They, they're making it way more uh, uh, you know, pleasurable to, 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 to read or see it or, or, or more fantasy wise. So Farla, whether he was later on, whether he was, you know, much, much bigger or, or that, well, we're, we're not turning him into a superhero where he's, you know, like this Hulk or whatever that is uh, no. uh, of kind, but he had definitely, um, definitely, a, 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 uh, how do you call it? He definitely had, had uh, 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 powers. Now, Michael asked, and I, I opened a barbanel on the right-hand side, and I'll, I'll read it for you, because a barbanel does mention something about his name, okay? So, um, let's continue. Vatikra et Shemo Shimshon, and the lady, the woman, his mother calls him what name? Shimshon. Velozachar lama karu otoshem, v'yadme sheramza, sheyeshamesh et ha'elohim, he will be, he has a purpose. You see, she shamesh, leishtamesh, shimush. He has a purpose, godly purpose. So that is that is where the name comes from, according to a barbanel, in terms of the purpose. But I also think shimush uh, is when you put when you when you put something to use. In other words, when you use something that was created for a particular thing, it's also shemesh. I love that. Is you are enlightening that 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 item. In other words, you have a book that is sitting on 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 the you know your ledge collecting dust, and it's not being used. You're bringing no light to the world when you're using a particular item for the purpose. When you when you're fulfilling its mandate, then you're also you're 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 empowering the world. You're you're bringing light into the world. So whenever you're using the the, the proper um, uh, item, it doesn't make a difference what it is. And in this case, you have you have Samson who was clearly created 
um, for a particular purpose. And yes, number one is to, to save the Israelites from, from, from their oppression, but also that was his purpose. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a play on words. He's going to bring light because that, that's his purpose is to save the Jews. So that's, that's, that's where, where it's, it's a double entendre for, for his name. So, so you'd say, why do I have the impression that he was this very strong, you know? That's uh, not, you, we will read about it. You're not necessarily wrong, but you were saying whether he was bigger than everybody. And that's well, how you saw it, it in books or in, in movies. And that is, by the way, the picture that I have, you know, no. every, time, every time you receive a reminder from you and from me, and some of you receive it, you know, multiple times <laughs> on a little, that, that little email, it has a little, a little depiction of, of, of a picture. And that I, that is a picture of one of the stories that God, when we will, we will all, all learn together and share um, from Shimshon. So if you, you go back again and look at my reminder, if you haven't looked closely at that picture, you'll see it. it might, you, you might remember, but again, this is, this is Farla because you're not wrong, but it's also whatever your mind has developed in terms of seeing it, uh, you know, the stories or, or, or reading in a book, seeing a picture book, seeing a movie with it, uh, and, and, and the way that they were depicted, and that's the way that we see it. So um, it's normal. And, 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 and I think that's, that's, that's the danger, that's the danger of, of relying on what we've seen outside of the original source because sometimes that's not necessarily accurate. You know what I mean? Um, I'll, I'll, give, I'll, give, I'll, give you, I'll give you a very, very, very plain, and usually, by the way, um, we humanize everything to what we, to our standard. So in other words, what we believe is, and you, you can fill the blank is, so what we believe is beautiful, what we believe is strong, what we believe is uh, whatever you want to fill in that gap is in your brain, in your experience of life, might be different than mine. And that is also why one of the reasons why we are not allowed to make a graven image for God, why are we not allowed to make a graven image? Because everybody will depict, it's, God is not what I'm, what, what I, I can't put a picture to God. I don't, I've never seen it. I don't, and then everybody usually humanizes it. So, I'll give you another example. You have extraterrestrial movies or, or, or books. It's amazing that they all resemble human beings just warped. They'll have a head. They'll have ears of some kind, whether it's like this or like this or like that. doesn't make a difference. We can't. They'll have eyes. So sometimes they'll have these big googly eyes or three of them. doesn't make a difference. They'll have hands long or short or look like E.T., which is kind of bizarre, but he's basically just a warped human being. In other words, he looks funny in terms of, but he has a body, he's got legs, he's got arms, he's got a head, he's got a nose, he's got, and he, and he does the same functions as, as a human being. Um, you know, you see, you see the Martians that come, you know, they have a bubble head, like, like a balloon, and it's all, it's, I'm, what my head is, the, the, it just, it just warped the, the, but it's all in a humanistic form. And we suddenly say, these are Martians. I don't know, maybe a Martians is a blob. I don't know, I have, I have, I have, I have no idea. Maybe, who's, who says they have our shape? Because we're limited to what we what we know, um, and we can't can necessarily conceptualize anything else. It doesn't make sense for us to 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 have this other being. So it's 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 dangerous as well when 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 we're. And by the way, that is why that is why if even you look at at, at let's say uh, you know Christians, the way that they depict Jesus, because they have now a depiction, Jesus will be very different in Africa than will be here in North America. Will be very different in 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 uh, uh, you know in in the Far East. Will be very very different. Every country that will, culture will depict Jesus as what they believe is and that what they can relate to, and it's usually what the way that they are. And very clearly, he's he's a, a, a Semitic, dark-haired. Um, you know, like a, a look, look, looking like 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 a, like a Sparty Jew uh, of that period. That's what he looked like. He, he was not blonde and and walked around with the, you know like fuzzy hair and, and, and he was he was a he was a 
it was a rabbi, a Sephardi rabbi, so to speak, from 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 the Middle East. That's 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 really what he was. If you're if you're just logically think about it, he was he 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 wasn't Oriental. He wasn't uh, necessarily you know South, South America. He wasn't from he you know from 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 the North America from the north. He wasn't a, a native like that. He he had features from, and that is why we do not depict because that way it's. God does but, not have human 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 uh, qualities, but we can't conceptualize what God is. You know, where everybody. Has, but I yes, think, I think God oh. wants us to have a faith in Him, and that the, we don't. He says right up, up front, you shouldn't have any graven image, images of, of of you know, you don't bow down or worship something. It's in your heart. It's all around. And it's in your faith. A graven image also is something that that becomes once. So in other words, this is what we see. This is it. If it's anything else, it can't be. Um, mm -hmm. And then who's determining what that thing is? You understand? And this is, I guess, Esther, to, to, to your beauty, is that God is 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 to that end very personal, right? Yeah. It's my my and yours might not be, but mine is doesn't trump yours. No, whatever your right. belief, whatever yours, your belief is, or whatever um, you know, you your connection with with God is, is your connection. It doesn't change. It doesn't rely on whether in the poster, if we took a picture of a you know with a Polaroid, it would look like this or that, which we obviously mm -hmm. we can't capture God in, in in a picture or Polaroid. But I'm just saying, it it it, it, it lends that personal touch of of each and every one of us has that 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 connection to God because God. You connect to God, and perhaps in a very different way that I do, and the way that somebody else might, doesn't make it wrong. Yeah, you know, I just um, say that the impression of Samson being so strong is based on what I learned when I was a kid. In school. You're not and again. He, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Yeah, no, because of the strength and it, it, it because of his hair. Once his hair was cut off. Don't don't ruin it, Farla. Oh. Don't ruin it. Don't okay. ruin it. For all of us, anybody who doesn't who doesn't know the story, don't ruin oh. it. Yeah. Huh? Yes, but we'll read we'll read in greater details of of things. And um, actually, Farla, you'll be very interesting. And anybody else who's who's never really re read the text, but is familiar with the story for whatever reason, whether as I mentioned, whether it was a movie that you saw or whether. Um, whether it was a, a a novel book or 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 a kid story that you shared with 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 a youngster, see if it actually aligns exactly. Are there any differences? Of course, the the overall thing is going to be the same. That's the whole that that's the essence of 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 Samson. But let's see where we where 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 the details are and 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 I think it's a, it's a beautiful case study um, of of seeing as we did with Noah. Um, and we, 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 you know, we have these preconceived notions because of what we've seen elsewhere outside of the text. But when we actually delve into the text, and Philip, I, I charge you, just open up the second parsha of the of the Bible of Noah, and your Hebrew is excellent. And when you get to the instruction of God's instructions to Noah, see exactly how, what what they are. And it's very clear in in in, in the text. Um, and as well, just the seven days of creation. Uh, that we have these 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 notions. Uh, I'm I'm going to ask you how many in how many days did God create the world? Six. Okay, but how many days are there? Seven. Wrong. How can there be day number one when God didn't create the sun and the moon and the stars and 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 that? What's a day? How do you define a day? What God had a stopwatch, so it's 24 hours. But 24 hours is is based on sunlight and the rotation and a, so it's not the the just the concept of a day is not what we know as in AM 12, 1, 2, 3, and the clock goes around and it comes again and it goes twice around. It's that's not what a day means in 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 the Bible for, for creation. It's a period of time referred to as a day or 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 unit, if you want to call it. It's a unit of time. It could have been 10 billion years for all for all intents and purposes. That it's not 24 hours. But when we teach kids, you tell them. Oh, 20, it could be, it could be anything. When they see day, they have no idea what the heck day is. They don't know it's a day, 24 hours that they can relate to. If you tell them a story that, you know, esoterically, they won't, they won't, they won't get it. 
But if you read the text very clearly and logically, the first day was just separating the top and the bottom, the sky and that. It's 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 there's no there's no day. Yet. There's not not moon and God didn't put the. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. It would have been the first day that it would have done it, or put that and then there's a bit of day. It's not. So it's we have to be very very uh, um, careful. Or when we read the details again, it's it's what we were taught in terms of to 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 to, to, to make it palatable for us, but it's a much more complicated uh, uh, than, 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 than just that. I'm just giving you some examples. Some, of course, are, 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 are as is, but th these, are, these are just examples. So don't, don't fall into far line term. Keep, keep that story the way that you know it, and we will compare notes once we go through all the stories. We'll see, we'll see how, how close they are um, in parallel they are. Any, any, any other questions, by the way? So I want to tell everybody, please note, I'm not here next week. By the way, let me let me just stop recording.